my truck traffic is slowing down here on Highway 30, but according to law enforcement, their tractor trailers are still causing issues for Polk County residents. Good evening. I'm Latricia Thomas and I'm Josh Rose. Storm damage from Helene Close I-40, a major connection between Tennessee and North Carolina last month, forcing some truck drivers to take a detour into Polk County. But county residents were anxious about the level of truck driver activity on their roads, so authorities said set up signs and patrol cars to limit this kind of traffic to only local deliveries. And now the Polk County Sheriff tells, tells us that traffic's slowing down, but some drivers are having a hard time following the rules. New Channel 9's Mary Beth Mangrum went back to hear from local and state authorities on how they're enforcing the new road restrictions. For residents in Polk County, semi truck traffic on Highway 30 has been a concern for years. After I 40 closed due to Helene and sent more trucks this way as a detour, law enforcement stepped in with signs like these. But we wanted to see if those steps are fixing the problem. They're still coming through. Your your average three or four a day. While these signs put up by TDOT and the Polk County Sheriff's Office have dulled traffic, they say they don't see the signs, and I, it's just it's frustrating. There are still semi trucks taking that route. So there's numerous accounts and uh, we had one up Saturday. Farmer Johnny Dunn witnessed it while repairing his fence that was damaged back in October by a semi truck. He had hit two guardrails before he ever got up to our farm and we stopped him and talked to him and you know wanted to know if he seen the signs and the patrol car down there but he said he didn't see them. We reached out to THP about Saturday's incident but have not yet heard back. But Polk County has been getting help from THP around the times school bus is run. They're sitting on both ends of the road on during school hours, during school bus hours, and uh, that's that's helped. That, that was everybody's big fear. A TDOT spokesperson tells us they are currently conducting a traffic study in the area on how to best communicate the limited through traffic to drivers. In the time that we were on the state route, we didn't see any semis disobeying those signs. But this problem originates for the county because Highway 30 is listed as a GPS shortcut. And uh, until we can get something done on the GPS, for uh, to get it blocked off of the GPS, then I, I don't I don't see us keeping them totally off. In Polk County, Mary Beth Mangrum, News Channel 9. According to NCDOT, crews expect to have two-way travel back open on I-40 by January 1st, but for now, officials say drivers should take U.S. 64 to travel between Tennessee and North Carolina.